All right, here we go. Here's part two, uh, actually, sorry, part five of our uh, photo retouching. We're going to work with something today that you've already worked with in the past. It's the vanishing point, um, but it actually gives kind of a more, a, a better idea of what the vanishing point actually does. So let's go to file. We're going to open and we're going to use 7C, I think. Yep, 7C start. And what you have here is a uh, just a picture of the side of a house. We've got a, a Christmas wreath right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually, this will be kind of cool, we're actually going to add a window to the house and we're also going to get rid of the wreath. Um, you notice the way the picture was taken, there's, a, there's an angle there that we've got to be careful of. If I was to just do this right now in, in this picture and try to move the, the window over, I could easily do that, but it would look funny. Um, because basically the, the direction of the wall in respect with respect to the way the picture was taken creates does create a vanishing a diminishing kind of uh, feel as, as you go down the, the wall of the house so first things first we're gonna go to the vanishing point we go to filter we go to vanishing point we save planes out of the out of conversion warning no biggie and I want to make sure you're on the uh, create plane tool and what we're going to do is we're going to create, similar to what we did with the cell phone box, we're going to create a plane by clicking, <coughs> inserting those insertion points, excuse me. And I'm going to create this plane based upon the red, just the red wall of the house. And I click. And if you notice, and I did this before too, but if you notice, it the line appears red. If you get too close to the edge of the picture over here, your vanishing point doesn't work. It doesn't want to work. So in essence, you want to get a little bit further away from the wall so that you can create the blue vanishing point that should appear. So I made a mistake here. Good to see. I'm going to click backspace, gets rid of that vanishing point. We're going to try again. And I'm actually going to push off from the edge of the picture a little bit. Let me try this one more time here. There we go. So I have my vanishing point created. I'm going to click off anywhere and get rid of the, the actual panel of the vanishing point. And as you notice, the only thing we really used with the cell phone box was just to create the vanishing point. We didn't use any of the tools that are found in the vanishing point filter. Um, this, this time we're actually going to use the tools. I'm going to grab the marquee tool. And I'm going to go in and I am going to drag a marquee or a selection, rectangular selection, over this middle window. And I'm going to grab a little bit on the outside of the red because if you notice the, the window is slightly cockeyed in the picture so I'm just going to basically make sure I have the whole window selected you might have to do this a couple of times to create to just to get enough of the window because again the way the window is setting a little hard to create a rectangular selection about there here's the trick to all this I'm going to hold down the alt key and the shift key and we haven't done this since the vegetable palette the vegetable uh, cutting board but what this allows us to do is copy and paste all at the same time. And watch what's going to happen. I've got my hand on the Alt key and the Shift key. And I've got my cursor turns to the copy and, and paste all in once. And I'm going to slide this window to the end of the wall. And as you slide it down, you'll see how that vanishing point works, where it shrinks that window as you push down the wall. And I'm going to try to eye this so I can put it right in between so it looks like the window fits nicely in between the, uh, the third window and the end of the wall. So there we go, not bad there. I'm going to deselect. And the last thing I want to do is, I guess uh, we don't need this to be on the Christmas card, so we're going to get rid of the wreath. <coughs> this is how we're going to get rid of the wreath. I'm actually going to grab a piece of the wall in here and copy and do the exact same process. Copy and paste, <coughs> paste that <coughs> over the wreath. Sorry again. So I am going to grab the selection rectangle again. Now I'm going to select a piece of the wall in between the two windows hold down the alt and the shift key and I'm gonna slide that down and start covering up the wreath you'll notice that your selection no matter how big you get isn't gonna cover up the whole entire wreath there is a function on the left side similar to what we use in Photoshop it's called the transform I'm gonna click on the transform and I'm just gonna slowly extend this down you'll notice that that vanishing point works beautifully it will only adjust based upon the vanishing point. So I've covered up the wreath. I can click out of here, click on the selection tool, click anywhere else, gets rid of the selection. I'm good to go. I click on the OK of the vanishing point, 
and it applies that a whole entire vanishing point to the window structure that we've got going on here. Pretty cool feature. Uh, make sure you save this and post to Edmodo.